And here we are, back at the Reddit. Computer Worlds asks the question, why does the 9-bot Max have two charge ports? Let's go have a peek. Hold on. Pardon me there. Let's go have a peek. Now you flip up the little flippy flap, and we notice there's a coaxial and a little three-pronger. I don't know what you want to call that, but... Yeah, okay, so what's the difference, really? You'll notice the difference... The main difference lies in the, the chargers here. So this guy, little old laptop version, has the brick. And then this guy, the old three-pronger, does not. Now, what is the brick? The brick holds something called a transformer. The transformer transforms things. So the, the energy coming out of this end is a little different than the energy going in at that end. And when you plug this one into that hole, it goes straight into the battery through the, the BMS chip, but for all intents and purposes, straight into the battery. Now, in the G30 Max and in the G2, they've got a component in here, which is the brick. That means the transformer exists just back here. So Mr. Three Prong, when you plug him in, the energy now goes through the transformer, gets transformed, and then goes into the battery. I guess they do this to give you charger options. These chargers are very common, so more people have them, they're more available online and that type of thing. Uh, these guys are a little more specialized, so they may be slightly harder to find, although I'm not, I'm sure not at this point. That being said, uh, if this one ever stops working, because this does happen where the transformer inside here may fail. Now, if this charger doesn't work, sometimes this one will. So, if you don't want to go into the shop and have your power supply transformer bit changed, you may be able to bypass that particular failure by just going and getting a one of these brick chargers. Anyway, that's a little uh, inside knowledge for you. Don't plug them both in at the same time. That's just silly. Anyway, have a good day.